Glad you're streaming with us. Well, the funeral of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny is set to go ahead tomorrow despite pressure from Russian authorities. It appears that police may try to actually try and stop people from gathering to mourn. And there's also concern that clashes may break out. Russia has already rejected a request to hold a separate march in honor of Navalny. Our Patrick Rebel is joining us from western Ukraine, keeping an eye on all the plans. So, Patrick, what can we expect? Hi, Kira. Yeah, as you say, Alexei Navalny's funeral is now due to go ahead tomorrow in Moscow. And since his death, or just under two weeks ago, Russian authorities have been pressuring his team to hold a secret funeral. But they say that tomorrow anyone who wants to come and pay respects should try to. We know that the funeral is to take place in a small church in the south of Moscow in a suburb, and then his body will be buried in a cemetery nearby. And it does seem likely that police will try to prevent large groups of people getting to the church um, and we've seen you know just just in the last um, little while we've heard uh, that there's been uh, there's been an attempt to try and request a memorial march on Saturday that has also been rejected I mean even today Navalny's team have been saying that they've been having difficulty trying to get a hearse saying that authorities have been calling up undertakers and telling them not to assist them and so clearly there has been a lot of pressure and I think really the big question now we're waiting to see is how many people will you know risk arrest potentially to come out and try and attend this funeral tomorrow and whether there will be clashes whether there might be mass arrests but whatever happens this is going to be a momentous day for Russia tomorrow. Kira. So Putin also delivered his annual State of the Nation speech today. What stood out to you from his remarks Patrick? Yeah, I mean, I think the thing that stood out most for me and most people watching was the nuclear rhetoric. I mean, there was pretty heavy nuclear saber rattling um, from President Putin in his State of the Nation address. He boasted about Russia developing new weapons and preparing to deploy a modernized ICBM. And he also threatened Western countries that they risk nuclear war um, through their actions here in Ukraine um, by supporting Ukraine. But I think it's important to say also, ultimately, this rhetoric was very familiar because, you know, I've watched a lot of these speeches and I have to say since at least 2018 I've heard almost the same thing every year from Vladimir Putin and because it's ultimately it's about intimidating Western countries but it's also about impressing Western voters especially ahead of the election the presidential election that Russia is due to hold in just three weeks and so ultimately though we've also seen that this rhetoric this nuclear saber rattling has been very effective in deterring Western countries at certain times during this war here in Ukraine um, they've been sometimes drip-fed weapons into Ukraine because they've been concerned about escalation and clearly President Putin still hopes that that sort of rhetoric can have that effect on Western countries here. Kira. Patrick Rebel, appreciate your reporting. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.